So we got a 2022 RAV4. Let me show you how to change your oil. This is what you're gonna need. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 14 millimeter socket or 14 millimeter wrench. 10 millimeter socket is for the access panel that is underneath the engine. The 14 millimeter is for the drain plug bolt. That's why you can either use a socket or a wrench. You're gonna need a uh, filter wrench to remove the filter. You're gonna need a five quart jug of zero W16. You will need 4.8 quarts with the filter when you change your oil on this. You're gonna need an oil filter. The filter number is 90915-YZZN1. You need some crush washers for the drain plug bolt. Um, you need one obviously per oil change. 90430-12031. Uh, you don't necessarily have to change that every time, but by the book, you need to change that every time. So it's up to you whether you reuse yours or not. Uh, obviously, full synthetic for your oil. So here's the access panel. I already have it down. It is one, two, three, four screws in it. These are the screws that are in there. That is oriented right there under the engine. There's a drain plug bolt. And right here is going to be your oil filter. So, oil filter, drain plug bolt. Also, you're going to want a funnel, something to catch your oil in, some napkins to clean up with, and I'd recommend some gloves. I wear gloves. It's up to you if you wear them or not. I just like them so I don't have to wash my hands so much. I can just take them off and they're clean. That's why I wear gloves. So, oh, remove your plug to drain your oil. So we drain oil in the filter at the same time because the pan's big enough. Then we'll spin the oil filter off, put a new filter on, put the drain plug back in once it's done draining, and fill it with oil. You got the oil filter. So this new filter actually comes with some grease on the o-ring so you don't have to oil the o-ring so I'll put this on tighten it up get it basically as hand tight as you can get it you don't need to go too much tighter than that so get under there that sealing surface where the o-ring seals make sure you don't have any dirt or anything on that you can see we don't wipe it off if you do and I'll put a oil filter in Move your oil cap. Put in our funnel. So kind of a little tip. I don't like having to measure the oil and tip it in, pour a little and have to find a level surface to put it on. It gets kind of tedious at times. So I poked a little hole in the, uh, the seal there so I can pour a little bit out slowly. I took this old, uh, quart jug here funnel in it and I poured 200 milliliters into that jug there so basically 4.8 quarts is 0.8 of 946 milliliters or 0.946 liters so 200 milliliters is basically the 0.2 that you take out of the 4.8 so now I can just pour this entire thing in there I don't have to worry about measuring um, I think that's a little bit of an easy way of doing it. All right, so to reset your maintenance indicator, you're gonna come over to here to your little uh, control panel on the side, and you're going to shuffle through till you get to the settings right there. Then you're gonna scroll down 
to get to vehicle settings, hold the OK button till it goes in. Then you're going to come down to scheduled maintenance, hold OK, reset data, yes, reset complete. Okay, so go back, 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 and uh, then we should be basically done. So we'll start it, shut it off. We'll turn it back on and we'll see if the maintenance indicator light comes back on. Right there, no maintenance due. So it's all reset for your next 10,000 miles. So there's that. That's how you change your oil in a 2022 RAV4. Um, that's how you also reset your maintenance indicator warning message. Um, so anyway, hope that goes somebody. I uh, thank you for watching. And if you care to, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Helps me out. And uh, have a nice day.